Ah, Mark, I was trying to catch you earlier. I know you're about to buy my new company car, so I took the liberty of uh, getting some literature. Oh, you did? Yep. Now, my only request is, please, uh, no low-slung convertibles. I know they're a hit with the ladies, but I have to confess that lately I, uh, I find them a bit difficult to get out of. <laughs> what, lads? Notice anything different about me? Uh, no, I can't say I do, Lizzie. Uh, so, will you let me know as soon as you've made a decision? Well, I, I believe it's all in hand, but I'll pass these on to Nathan, eh? Go on, guess. It's my ankles. Yeah, Doug was looking for you. Uh, there's a situation down the road with a removal van. What's that to do with me? Tell him to deal with it, will you? Tag free and loving it, yeah. So who's going to stand a free woman to drink, lads? 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 Anything else, you just give me a shout. Okay. Hey, that's Mark's car. I'll give him a shout. Mark! Friend of the wires. You're off your head. No words, not mine. And how long till he finds out you're here? His problem, not mine. Yeah, until your new neighbours find out that you're the lord of the manor's other woman. He'll respect my confidence. I know that much at least. And what about his wife? Have you seen the Wicker Man? Small village, miles from anywhere? So if you're even thinking of some kind of walked revenge plan, think again. I just want to live my life. Is that a crime? Mum, you took their money so that you could start a new life for yourself and instead you show up here so you can hang off the ankles of some bloke who wants rid of you. I mean, where's your self-respect? I've got the right to live where I want. I jacked in my plans for the army because I didn't want you to be on your own. And what do I get in return? Just a load of lies. Well, you play your psycho games if you want to, all right? I'm out of it. Another pint, you'll see that pulled through. Get yourself a lemonade on me for saving my barmaid's biceps. You've definitely got that Salomon snack. Sounds nasty. Occupational hazard. What can I get you? I need to pick your brains. We've lost around a dozen head of sheep. Oh, no, no, no. There's no stolen meat in my kitchen. I don't have the butchery skills. I'm rubbish with knives. I always have... I have receipts. Andy hasn't been well. That doesn't make him a criminal. You don't think I've nicked them, do you? Do you want to check the cellar or the back room? Why well, if you to put them in a trail, it could be anywhere by now, anywhere. No, 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 I just wanted to get a heads up. Whether there's a weak spot in the fencing or where they might have been rustled. You'll need a hand fetching them. I'll get my shoes on and meet you outside. Well, I've done the crime. I've done my time. Who's going to buy me my first drink as a free woman? Hey, oh, get me home then. <laughs> oh. Well, a fine homecoming this turned out to be. An empty fridge, two grown men on a tricycle, and a kitchen sink full of sump oil. Oof. And then, to top it all, nobody's even noticed my new hairdo. Oh, I have love. Oh. We were wandering along the open road, lonely as clouds. But they looked hungry. <sighs> Should we brought them home so they won't get run over? Yeah, so we could eat them. Well, we can't keep them all, can we? Sheep are not wild. They don't just roam the countryside. Someone, somewhere, owns them. Yep. Well, how are we supposed to know who that is? We could start by looking at the ray tags. Oh, I knew them things meant summer. <sighs> right, get on to Paddy. He'll know who's there. <gasps> Can we keep the one that looks like Sam? No! As soon as we haven't got lamb chops for tea, it's going to have to be eggs again and chips. Might have should get technical on us. Uh, that's blobbed it. Mm. Hey, hang on, gentlemen. All is not lost. <laughs> All we need are a couple of Bell's marker pens and we steady away. <laughs> Hi. I don't expect you to understand, but I do expect you to have a little more faith in me. When you're behaving like some kind of bunny boiler? I, I saw this house when Mark and I were together. I, I, I fell in love with it, with this village. And now he's binned you, you want to move in? What, you, you call that rational, do you? He lives in a big house on the hill. We'll hardly see each but other. we can't go outside without tripping over his wife's shop. I 
I don't get you. I mean, why are you chasing after a man that wants nothing to do with you? He doesn't know what he wants, but I do. So you admitted then that you're still after him? I knew it. I knew it. Look, we've been through so much. When have I ever let you down? Yep. Hello. Small housewarming gift from Natasha's Enterprise. Oh, that's very kind. Um, please, come in. How about this, then? An admin assistant at a cat charity ring Barbara for full details. Oh, no, they can smell fear. I'll be scratched to ribbons. <coughs> Nasty, smelly things are cans. Poor Irene the Eye had already got a job. Oh, well, it's a bit quiet at the moment, actually. Apparently, there are only so many gullible fools waiting for a fake psychic to solve their problems. Hmm. Really? You do surprise me. Don't often see you in here, pet. Mum says children shouldn't go to pubs. But Mum's a long way away. Maybe. But that doesn't mean she won't winkle out the truth. I'll just have to live with that. Uh, pint, please, Diane. And for me. Of Coke. Lots of ice. And lemon. <laughs> and the minis. I'll bring them over. All right. I don't know. Last week I was hobnobbing with David Opney on Bridlington Front. Hmm? Treating myself to a little makeover. Now I'm back home to squalor. Really? I thought Alan would have kept the place pristine. Yeah, well, you would think so, but his brain has been addled by that petrol headed pal of ease. Why don't you show him the door? <sighs> well, do you know, the rent comes in very mm. handy. Yeah. I blame Gordon Brown. If I could live on my pension, I wouldn't have to be tolerating these indoor mechanics. Mm. Or oh, rummages under people's radiators for a living, either. Ooh, I'd give me eye teeth for that. An indoor mechanic? No, cleaning. I want a job. I'll do anything. Yeah, just so you know, Lizzie and cleaning go together like... Morrissey and a jumbo double meaty bacon burger. Oh. Well, he's a sink... it doesn't matter. 